Well, I thought we had our best game uh, last game, but in the end, you know, we talk about this every day. We're in the winning business. Uh, I've always evaluated the process all the time, whether I was coaching Anaheim or the Red Wings are here, and we think we're getting better. Uh, I read something, uh, or someone handed it to me today, like about uh, Naz and Kadri having a slow start. I think he's having the best start of his career. I think he's been phenomenal. So what I see and what you see sometimes aren't the same thing, but that's no big deal. Well, if he's not putting up the points, is that not fair to say he's having a slow start? Not for me. I think he's having a great start. I think he's becoming a real player who competes on both sides of the puck and makes his teammates better. So it depends on what you're looking at. I think he's getting better every day. Mike, the process of becoming a good National Hockey League sentiment takes years, and we're seeing that in us. Well, you know, I haven't been here with him. I, I've just been here with him for for two months, and I know he's working and getting better. I'm thoroughly impressed with him, uh, how he's hard he's competing in the gym. He's getting better in that area every day. He's looking after himself better. He's being a better pro. He practices better. All those things lead to uh, your stats will all be looked after in the end. There's good players every year. I notice there's a real good player in Philly who's got no goals. I bet you he still has just about the same at the end of the year as he normally does. It's just it's the math that works out. Uh, one, Harry's in, uh, Marty's out. Do you have a lineup uh, or a roster move still to make? Uh, I think we made it. We put uh, Kluner on waivers, and then so uh, uh, we're betting, you know, we're betting that he gets through and that we can continue to use him, and then we get to evaluate uh, Frankie coming up here. Bernie uh, had a chance to go on the ice a bit. Is he on track to give you Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, if he's on the plane to... To wash tonight, to skate tomorrow, we know he had some traction, so we'll uh, evaluate him tonight after he had, to, I mean, he did nothing, but he had a little skate. I'm sure you've done a pre scout on Detroit. Uh, just talk about what you expect tonight. Well, I mean, I, 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 they do things well. Uh, they got good players. Very impressed with Larkin. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't think uh, when I watch him, I, expe I see what I expect. Um, I thought they got off to a real good start this year. They had a little bit of a hiccup, and now they seem to be playing better again. I thought the Tampa-Detroit game, it was a good game to watch. It was high level by both teams, so it's fun to watch. And there was lots of plays being made by good players, so it was good. I wanted, uh, before I get the main questions out of the way, but I want to switch to the Hockey Hall of Fame really quick, so if you yeah. don't mind. Uh, can you please talk about Nicholas Lundstrom, your experience with him? I don't want to put you on the spot. I'm going to. A no, yeah. memory by any chance that you have with him. Well, I mean, he's just a special, special human being. He's as good a player as he is, and I think he's, in my opinion, he's the best player on the back end in his generation, bar none. Uh, as good a player as he is, a better person, a better teammate, a better leader by example. Uh, good family man. Great to have in your organization. Makes you a lot better coach. Slides on the blue line as good as anyone I've ever seen and makes good plays. Uh, Makes you a better coach. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. Pretty, pretty smooth. I know he's got a, a huge highlight reel if you put all his plays together, but anything in particular, maybe getting the Stanley Cup run that, that sticks him out? You know, I just know he was, uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think he's the first European captain ever to win the Cup. Obviously, uh, you know, when Shani and, and Stevie and guys like that had all left, you know, lots of people didn't think we were going to be quite as good. And for us to, you know, have the kind of run we did with him here was great. With him there was great. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I just got tons of memories. He's just good. I, one of the things I tell the story about him all the time to our young D is that if Nick ever made a mistake and he didn't make any and he passed it to someone in the slot and they shot it in the net, he'd come to the bench, he'd have a drink of water and play the next shift. In other words, nothing bothered him. He just played. And But I think the things that I always remember is what a great person he was because he made his teammates better because of that. Pardon me? Has it just been a number? No, he wasn't here. Remember, he was down. Right, but like before that and now. Well, no, we, we, what we did is is because we brought him in, we didn't know who he, Like, I mean, the pro scouts know who he is. I, I don't have a clue who he is. So they come here so I could put him in the lineup right away, but I had a whole bunch of guys I wanted to go in the lineup. We used the opportunity to get him some hockey so we could catch him after he's played lots of hockey being good. So when we put him in the lineup, we expect him to be good. 